Welcome to Psoriasis on YouTube. We are here to cover all things psoriasis. Psoriasis of the Nails Psoriasis of the nails, also known as psoriatic nail disease, is unlike other forms of psoriasis in that it causes broken, split, or lifted nails that are visible every day. You may feel self-conscious, humiliated, or uneasy, and you may even have pain that makes walking, jogging, or doing physical activity difficult. Nail psoriasis can cause fingernail and toenail damage over time. Psoriatic nail disease is often associated with the basic signs of psoriasis, a chronic skin ailment that includes itching, redness, scaling, and the creation of thicker plaques. When nail psoriasis appears on its own, it can be difficult to identify and mistaken for other illnesses. How does psoriasis affect different body parts? The same autoimmune processes that produce psoriasis of the skin also cause psoriasis of the nails. The immune system will mistakenly view normal tissues as dangerous and initiate an immunological attack for unknown causes. Despite the fact that the skin is the primary target, other tissues are also impacted. The resulting inflammation speeds up the creation of keratinocytes, which are cells found in the skin, nails, and other tissues. Characteristic plaques can form in the skin when this happens. Overproduction of keratinocytes in the fingernails and toenails can cause thickness, deformity, and discoloration because the cells are created quicker than they can be removed. According to a 2017 study published in the journal Psoriasis, around half of all persons with psoriasis will have nail changes at the time of diagnosis, and 90% will have substantial nail abnormalities at some point in their lives. Symptoms Symptoms differ from person to person and change as the disease advances. The following are some of the telltale indicators of nail psoriasis. Surface pitting of the nail. Bose lines are lines and furrows that go side to side rather than from cuticle to tip. Nail thickening is a condition in which the nail becomes thicker, subungual hyperkeratosis. Oil drops or salmon patches are yellowish red spots under the nail. The nail has white areas, leuconychia. Splinter hemorrhages are tiny black lines that run from the tip to the cuticle and are caused by a burst blood vessel. Splinter hemorrhages, tiny black lines that run from the tip to the cuticle, are caused by ruptured capillaries. Onycholysis is the lifting of the nail plate, which usually occurs from the tip to the cuticle. Nails that are crumbling and brittle. The white arch at the base of the nail is red, spotted lunula. Arthritis of the finger or toe, with damage to the nail, psoriatic arthritis. Nail psoriasis is a type of psoriasis that affects the nails. Psoriatic nail disease, like psoriasis of the skin, is diagnosed primarily through a physical examination and a study of the medical history, including a family history of skin illnesses. Psoriasis cannot be diagnosed using blood testing or imaging techniques. Your healthcare professional may take nail clippings or a tissue sample from the nail bed to examine under a microscope if the symptoms are unusual or unclear. Psoriatic tissues will often have cells that are thick and firmly compacted when seen in this way, referred to as acanthotic. If psoriasis affects the nails but not the skin, the healthcare provider will usually explore and rule out all other possibilities before making a clear diagnosis. Differential diagnosis is a technique that employs tissue samples, lab cultures, and other testing to narrow down the possible reasons. Psoriatic nail disease is one of the disorders that looks like it. Alopecia areata is an autoimmune condition that causes hair loss and damage to the nails. The inflammatory condition lichen planus affects the skin, nails, and hair. Onychomycosis is a frequent nail fungal condition. Pityriasis rubra pilaris is a rare condition that results in skin irritation, thickening of the nails, and hair loss. Treatment. Psoriasis of the nails is a slow and tough condition to treat. Because it takes three months to regrow a fingernail and six months to regrow a toenail, successful therapies will take at least that long before the nail returns to its original appearance. Treatments might be topical, oral, injectable, or a combination of these. Steroids for topical use. Localized inflammation is sometimes treated with topical medications. While they are effective in treating psoriasis of the skin, they are difficult to apply to the nails. The bottom of the nail tip and other regions where the skin and nail contact are commonly treated with liquid steroid drops. Overuse of the treatment region can result in permanent skin loss, atrophy. Calcipotriol. 
Calcipotriol is a vitamin D derivative that is given topically to the damaged nail twice day. It's usually sold in a 50 microgram per gram, MCG per gram, concentration. Tazeratine. Tazeratine is a retinoid cream that is applied to the skin to treat psoriasis and acne. According to a 2010 research published in the Indian Journal of Dermatology, Tazeratine 0.1% gel or cream administered once daily for 12 to 24 weeks improved pitting, onycholysis, and salmon spots on both fingernails and toenails. Injections of steroids. Steroid injections are given in modest amounts straight into or near the nail unit's structure. The most widely prescribed intralesional steroid is triamcinolone acetonide, which is administered in a single 0.1 milliliter ML, injection at four locations around the nail. The most prevalent side effect of therapy is pain. Systemic therapies. Medication that calms the underlying immunological response that causes nail deformity is known as systemic therapy. These include older DMARDs like methotrexate and sandimune, cyclosporin, as well as newer biologics like Otesla, Apremilast, Humira, Adalimumab, and Cosentix, Secucanumab. Systemic medications are often utilized only when psoriasis of the skin is moderate to severe, not when psoriasis of the nails is present. Other therapies. Other therapies for nail psoriasis exist, some of which are more effective than others. Although phototherapy using ultraviolet, UV, lamps has been shown to help with plaque psoriasis, it only appears to help with oil patches on the nails. While oral retinoids such as acetretin may help with nail psoriasis, their effectiveness is dose-dependent. Oral retinoids, if used at any dose other than the smallest allowed, might exacerbate symptoms such as nail cracking and perinicchia, an infection of the skin folds around the nails. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and keep up to date on more videos about psoriasis. Goodbye for now.